Hey guys, welcome back to Judah Highlights. Olympics start tomorrow, and here are my picks for who's going to get gold. I've gone over all the draws, I've gone over everyone's records, I know who beats who, most likely. Statistically, I think this is probably the favorite to win each category, so let's get into it. So first of all, I've got Tagato taking the gold in the 60kg category. He does have that one loss against Chick Vimiani, and they are due to meet in the quarterfinals, but I don't think Chick Vimiani will be able to upset Takuto twice, and Takuto does have a win over him, so I think he'll play it safe. Uh, he'll look out for his dangerous attacks and maybe just win by a Wazadi. But after getting through Chick Vimiani, Smetov, and Kim, that shouldn't be too much trouble for Takuto, I think. And then on the other side of the bracket, whoever he meets in the final, I don't see too much difficulty for Takuto there, so I think uh, with his his good judo, his good techniques, his kochigari, his sore surukumi goshi, he can take gold. Next up, 66, we have Abe. And I think this one is a no-brainer really. Uh, Abe, he's going to meet Yondon Perenlai. Could be an upset there, but honestly I don't think so. Abe has thrown him before with a really, really, really amazing Tao Toshi. There's also Lombardo uh, in Pool A, who they might meet, but uh, I think Abe has kind of gotten over that loss. He, he's improved considerably, and he knows Lombardo's a, a big threat, and so I think he'll be cautious and take the win there. And then on the other side of the bracket, I think, I, I definitely think the, the most difficult match will be Lombardo and Yondon Perenlai for Abe, so... Uh, he'll get through it, and he'll get to the final, and he will take gold at 66. Now you're probably thinking that I'm a bit biased just choosing Japanese athletes at 60, at 66, but I definitely think at 73, I don't think anyone is not choosing Ono for this one. Uh, he's not seated in the top 8, so it's kind of interesting, but he's been put in the pool with Siloglu. He'll get through that, no problems. Then he's destined to meet Orujov in the quarterfinals, and we all know how Ono ranks up against Orujov. On the opposite side of the brackets, you've got uh, Fabio Basili, but I think An Changrim might take him out. I think An might get through uh, on the other side of the bracket, and then it might be An versus Ono in the final. And that will be interesting. Uh, An, he's probably come the closest out of anyone. Uh, there was a final at the Asian Championships a long time ago he kind of gassed Ono out almost won by Shido I actually thought he won that match but considering their last outing Ono won by Wazadi so Ono for gold 73 now 81 I've picked Boltabayev and some people might disagree with this one but I do really think the the way the the brackets have worked out is in Boltabayev's favor he's got to get through Ivanov and they both have wins against each other He's going to get through Muki, and Boltabayev has thrown Muki a couple of times now, and I think Muki is, or well, maybe, on a, a bit of a downtrend. Uh, he's got wins over Molai, and so uh, he definitely looks good on that side of the bracket. We'll see who he meets on the other side. I have a feeling it's Nagase, and I think he will beat Nagase in the final. Now this one, this one's interesting. Igor Nikov from Russia. And he's got several wins against Shiraz Dishvili, who is in the same pool as him. And then once he gets through that, he's going to have to deal with uh, Bobanov or Bekaudi. Bobanov, though, he has losses against Mongai. And uh, Igor Nikov, he's got wins over uh, Bekaudi as well. So uh, I like his chances on that side of the pool. It's going to be a blood fest on the other side with Vante and Mukai. And then there's Guac as well. So we'll see who comes out on that side. But I really think Yolnikov, 24 years old, coming up, young talent. And there's got to be a Russian on the podium. So we'll see what happens. Wolf now for under 100. And one of the reasons I put Wolf is he's got a good record against a lot of the guys on the left side of the bracket. So that's Patrick Peter and also Libertiliani. 
So we'll see what happens there. El Nahas hasn't faced Lipitelliani, so that will be interesting. But I definitely see Wolf getting through the left side of the bracket. And then on the right side, where we've got Fonseca. I'd be... I'd say Fonseca's going to get through that. But uh, Wolf has a win over Fonseca. Uh, took him out on the ground. Nice Osaikomi. And Wolf, he's, he's kind of a shorter, stockier... Uh, Jiroka himself, so I think Fonseca will struggle with that. I think Fonseca likes the the taller, bigger, lankier guys to get in there with his Sode Surikomi Goshi and uh, Seo Inage. So I like that matchup, Wolf versus Fonseca, and that would be the final. So uh, very interesting. And Wolf, obviously, he is the winner of the All Japan, and this is the same building. It's his home country, and if you saw his performance during that, it was so impressive he elevated his game i think he does well in japan i think he he doesn't travel that well he's, he's more of a a home uh fighter and so i really think he's gonna take it home to say and take the gold from fonseca right plus 100 now and i wouldn't be surprised if there was an upset uh, earlier on for Teddy but it is Teddy's gold medal to lose and I think uh, him losing to Kagayura and he had a few injuries but hopefully he's come back from that hopefully he's trained really really hard and I mean you really want him to to get three right Th this is his dream his goal to equal that of Nomura so I think it's his gold medal to lose it'll be him Harasawa in the final, I think, and uh, that would be really interesting if Harasawa upset him, but I do think it'll be Teddy. I was going to pick Harasawa, but I went to Teddy's Instagram page, and you should go check it out. He's got a nice video of him getting ready for the Olympics, everything he's overcome, and now he's ready to claim that gold. Uh, unfortunately, it's in French. I can't understand French, so I'm not quite sure what was said but uh, a really, really cool video nonetheless. So guys, that's my picks. Might be a little bit biased towards the Japanese, but home advantage, they do well in their home country. And uh, I think under 90, you've got to have Igor Nikov. You've got to have a Russian on the podium somewhere, right? I don't think there's been an Olympics where a Russian hasn't won gold. And... So we've got a Russian, a French, a bunch of Japanese players, one from Uzbekistan. I think one Uzbekistan player has to get a gold just because of all the hard work they've put in. And yeah, that's what I think, guys. So uh, let me know and uh, enjoy the Olympics.